guide policy decisions to address the high cost of living for Kenyans. As the economy was recovering from the ravages of uh, COVID-19 pandemic, it was also hit by a drought and disruptions of global supply chains that worsened the situation. And so what we have seen are negative and persistent shocks that have created permanent effects. In economics, Mr. Chairman, we would say that they are creating a structural effect. But most of my colleagues have told me, please, when you talk, please try to talk English so that we can understand English. So let's, let me say that some of this, most of the time when we were teaching, even when we advise on economic policy, we actually say that most of the anticipation is that if you have a negative shock, it is actually to be likely to be short term. That is always our thinking. But if you have a positive shock, it's likely to last long, isn't it? It's transitory. So a negative shock should be transitory. A positive shock should be permanent. But that's not how the, the real world works, isn't it? So when negative shocks become persistent, it means that you lose track of predictability of what will happen and they create a permanent effect, and you need some active reforms to remove yourself from that structural or permanent effect. We do believe that it's a policy issue, it's a reform issue that we really need to think about so that we move out of that permanent effect. But the most important thing is that it's to expound then how do we get out of that kind of permanent effect? How do we ignite economic recovery, resolve the cost of living, and also ignite growth and vibrancy? That's why we have the bottom-up economic transformation agenda for the current administration, and it is geared towards realizing an economic turnaround and achieving inclusive growth. Boosting domestic supply and ensuring that markets work if effectively are critical steps towards improving the living standards for Kenyans. Especially those at the bottom of the pyramid. As such, the Kenyan Economic Report that we are launching today is aligned to the government policy initiatives around these priorities. Ladies and gentlemen, we, start, we can start asking our questions some questions about the bottom-up economic transformation agenda. One of the questions I was anticipating that I would be asked anywhere in the streets is why bottom-up? You know, I am capable of being asked so many questions. I remember when I joined the Central Bank in 2007 and the economy was growing at around 7 point something percent. I think somebody asked me one time in the streets asking me, we can't feel the growth. And the teacher in me always wake, woke up and I said, you cannot feel the growth because it's not like a bus that you wait for the bus at the bus station and then you enter. You have to be in the market. You have to be a participant in the market. That's where vibrancy is felt. But if you're outside the market, you cannot feel that. So that's why it is important to ask ourselves questions. Because once you ask questions, you can get some specific answers.